Here goes nothing, guys. Going to do stretches like I did in high school. And that's going to be my video for today. You got to stretch those muscles, warm them up before you exercise so you're able to do what needs to be done without hurting yourself. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's start with your neck. You want to take, you know, you can put your hands on your shoulders. I don't know how good you can see me, but you can put your hands on your shoulders and want to pretend like your head is a bowling ball and let it go down to your chin and roll to your right as far as it can stretch all the way to the back, all the way to the left, and then down to the bottom. And you do that eight times. And that's for the right side. I'm not doing eight times, I'm just telling you how I do eight times. So that way you can do eight times on your time and we can get our stretches and warms up before we exercise when we exercise. Now, go to your left side. And you want to make sure you do it the same way. Pretend like your head is a bowling ball. Row, row, row that ball. You'll feel some heat in your neck. It means you're warming up your muscles. Less apt to hurt yourself. Now, that's not all you're going to do for your neck. You're going to go up and down. So that's it. Do that eight times. Don't go really fast. You want to go slow. A repetition of slowness. No, you don't want to go fast because you can hurt yourself. Just enough to get your muscles warmed up eight times. And then look to the right, look to the left eight times. This that was from the right to the left, now from the left to the right. And then you want to lift, try to lift your ear towards the ceiling. So go up. Not, don't try to touch your head to your shoulder, just try to lift your ear to the ceiling. One, eight times. And then after you get that, you have your neck pretty well warmed up for exercising. Now you want to do your shoulders. You want to go up and down eight times. And then after you do that, you want to do your right shoulder eight times to the back. And then your left one to the back. Eight times. I'm only doing four just to show you because this might take too long to do it like time. Okay, now do your right one to the left, right one to the front eight times, and your left one to the front eight times. Okay, and then you want to do both of them to the back. And then both of them to the front. You should be feeling some heat in your shoulders. Now, take your arms like this, and just for your back just to heat it up, warm it up. Try not to move your hips, just just your rib cage. Okay, and now you want to go the opposite direction. I have to start this way first. Now, start with your right arm on top. Make sure you do it eight times. Now your left one on top. You should start to feel your arms heating up. You go out like this with the hands up. And 
in with your hands down. Can you see that? Okay. <laughs> now you want to do your your waist area. You go down eight times. Try to keep it back straight. And your stomach pulled in. Now, the other side. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do too much for the stomach because it's going to be warmed up after you do this. Now, I'm going to move the camera down so you can see the floor while I do the legs, the hips, and things. So. Move you down like so. I think that might work. Now, getting up off the floor is gonna be what my thing is. So, for the legs, you just lift up with your knees eight times, and then your other one, and then out to the side. Eight times. And then you want to kick to the back. Straight legs. You should be feeling this in your hips ouch, and your lower back. Now you can bend your legs. You can feel this in the back of your legs and the front. Your, cat, your quads and your hamstrings. Make sure you do eight times. Now to get down on the floor. If I'm able to get down enough, I'll be doing great here. Because it's not hard. I mean, it's hard for me to get up and down off the floor. Okay, I'm going to turn sideways just a bit. Okay. So you got your straight legs. You can reach out, try to touch your toes without bending your knees eight times. You're going to take your legs. You try to reach out for both both hands and touch your toes with your legs spread. And if you can spread your legs further, do so. My house is too small. When I get to the other house, I'll have more room. Then you want to take cross one arm over your head to your shoulder. I mean, and then stretch, grab your toes, and just hold it there to the count of eight. And then do that eight times, just like that. So you do another one eight times. And then you go the other way eight times. Grab your toes from each other. This also stretches your lower back, your shoulders, stretches it out, relaxes it, warms it up so you're ready for exercise. Make sure you do that eight times as well. Let me see here. Now. For another stretch for the back, put your legs together. Remember how to do this. You want to cross one leg over the other one. Then take your elbow against that. And turn the opposite. And then look over your shoulder. And just count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now switch sides. And cross over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm sure there's probably others, other exercises for warming up the body, like the calves. Um, if I can get up, I'll try to do that <laughs> as well. You know, getting up and down off the floor 
This an exercise too. And I just pulled this muscle getting up off the floor. So be careful when you exercise so you don't hurt yourself. Go and grab behind the chair. You need to step on your tiptoes and go down. And that's good for the calves. Do it eight times. And then you can pull your toe up in the air like this and just lean forward. Count to eight. Get your other leg. Lean forward. By putting your by leaning forward, you're putting extra stretch on the leg, which helps. I hope this helps somebody who gets tightness in the muscles like me, especially in the legs. Um, and if it did, great. Because if we don't keep ourselves limber and uh, stretched, we might not be able to walk someday. And it'll help keep your muscles younger, longer. I hope this helps somebody. If it did, Smash the like button, share it with your friends, and let's get to exercising. Hopefully I can still lose some weight. I decided losing 100 pounds might be too big of a goal, but if I can start losing anything, get under 200, then I'll be happy. That's still 70 pounds I need to lose. So, pray for me. I'll see you guys on the next video. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. Have a wonderful day. Ta-ta.